Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ozzy here again with another product review for you guys. And today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing a pen by the manufacturer Montegrappa. And I have the box right in front of me. It's a plain white cardboard box and it has Montegrappa embossed into the front and the back of the box as you can see, hopefully. I'm lifting it up so that it's visible. And yes, yeah, so we're going to be unboxing a pen from this manufacturer. It is an Italian brand, long history of manufacturing fine writing instruments since 1912. So a lot of heritage behind it. It's on par with Mont Blanc, ST DuPont and other pen manufacturers like Caron d'Arc. So well, we shouldn't have any problem with comparison. So. On the other, one more thing, on the sides of this cardboard box, you have the Monte Grappa logo over here. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box. You can see there is a nice green box inside, which is a very hard cardboard box. You have the Monte Grappa emblem logo all across the box. It is embossed on the front, back, top, bottom, sides, everywhere. So you have the Monte Grappa logo being embossed very nicely in different directions at 90 degree angles all throughout this beautiful green, grass green box, I'd like to say. Uh, it may look like olive green as well, but I prefer to think of this as grass green. It's not as olive drab as I would expect. It has the Monte Grappa logo on the front on a silver clock and it's written in gray italicized font. Let's go ahead and open it up. It opens up like a typical box. Inside you have again the Monte Grappa logo on green background, silver writing and it is velvet lined on the top and the bottom. Inside you have the pen which is being encased by and held in place by a green ribbon with the Monte Grappa logo on it. So you take this out and you have the pen actually inside a plastic wrapping which has again Monte Grappa written in black font. So that's nice, it protects the pen from scratches during uh, delivery and shipping. So let's look at the box one more time. So yeah, it's very nicely finished velvet, very soft, very smooth. Inside you have a compartment, you take that out and you have a book inside. So this book is the instructions manual. It is plain grass green, cardboard type finishing on the front and back. It just has some history I believe written in it, how to use the pen and yeah, written in Italian and English obviously. It tells you about their guarantee and that's their guarantee certificates because I'd have to fill it out. It's unfilled because I bought it, did not buy it directly from Monte Grappa. I got this from Amazon. Honor. Yeah, you have some pictures from the past. I think this is a historic picture depicting the fountain pen. Yeah, so nice small booklet nicely illustrated so let's put that back and come back to the pen now guys I was expecting a blue box but for some reason they shipped it in green which is totally fine let's take the pen out of this plastic casing or should I say plastic bag It's very tricky with the gloves. All right, so you have this midnight blue, or should I say navy blue colored pen. And this is the Parola series, which is their entry level series for their pen, for their writing instrument line. And it looks very nice, I must say. It has blue resin material finish with stainless steel accents, or should I say chrome accents made of stainless steel. The, all the metal on this pen is stainless steel, but it gives a chrome-like finish. And you can see that at the top, you have the Monte Grappa logo, 
nicely inscribed into the stainless steel cap, which is kind of like a crown with a matching navy blue crystal conical top. And that gives it a very nice fine look. It has a very smooth looking clip with a roller at the end. And it feels very nice and tight. You have silver chrome accents where the uh, barrel meets the cap. And then at the bottom, you again have silver stainless steel accents with a, an emblem at the bottom that says 1912, indicating that Monte Grappa has been in business since 1912. So it has a lot of heritage. Very good, very nice. All looks smooth. The pen doesn't feel very heavy, which uh, is, a, is an advantage because if you're writing lots and lots of words, lots and lots of pages, you don't want a very heavy pen. You want something that's light and easy to use. And the word Parola by itself means the word word, literally. So it indicates, again, entry level, easy to use, basic uh, pen for, you know, just your average graduate who just wants to uh, have a decent pen or even, you know, corporate clients, corporate businessmen, uh, anybody in a formal office setting just want an, if they just want an entry level pen for everyday usage, no shenanigans. This is a nice pen, nice alternative to Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc has captured like 80% of the pen market, but you know, sometimes you want variety and for the, you know, average college student even or just an average college graduate something somebody who just wants a no fuss pen this is an ideal pen for that purpose all right coming back to the pen itself it's a screw down opening action so it has the threads here in stainless steel silver line then you have the pen itself the stem is also navy blue with a silver touch Right before the nib starts, the nib itself also is in stainless steel. Okay, and we'll screw it back in clockwise from the bottom. So yeah, so having a screw down cap is always advantageous because if this was friction based, putting it on, putting it back off, the cap can wear out itself. The parts that are in contact with the barrel they can wear out. So having a screw down cap is advantageous in the fact that you know you don't damage any of the components and it can last longer without any sort of damage. So it does post well so you can write easily. It is a little bit long when you post it like that. If you don't want to post it you can also write it without the post and that is going to be a little bit easier if you're writing long uh, sentences or lots of text if you're writing lots of pages you probably want to write it like this this position with the post is more suitable for just you doing some signatures a little bit of writing and, but it is still very light so it's not a disadvantage to keep it posted like that and it posts nicely there's no friction on the bottom end because it's very nicely lined on very easily and comes off very easily so you don't have to apply a lot of force which is a good thing keeping the pen cap over here let's unscrew the pen itself you can see so it has the standard universal size roller ball refill this one is by monte grappa themselves and it is a roller ball 0.7 fine point 9j black color black cartridge and yeah so you just put any other refill you can put it straight in here and screw it back on simple to use action nothing crazy nothing difficult and then you can put this back on and there you go so let's do a little bit of writing with this i have a notepad here okay let's write something with the pen and see how it works With the gloves it was fairly easy to write let's try without the gloves see if it makes a difference very smooth 
so the pen does write very smoothly let's try it without the posting and see if it makes a difference and smooth to write with and i believe if i had better penmanship it would write even better so it is i'd say between medium to fine point uh, the refill they've given and it does write fairly decently so full marks on that i think it would be a great addition for formal office or even casual use and is suitable for college students you know college graduates uh, even executives in the office formal setting you know semi-formal setting i think this would be a great addition to your pen collection so i bought this on amazon for around 200 dollars, but it is very hard to find it in the blue color ponte grappa itself on their website have discontinued the navy blue color it is still available uh for in black color you might be able to find it for around 185 to 200 dollars if you like this design you can get the black one and it comes in a fountain pen uh format or a ballpoint format as well so this one is a roller ball but you can get it in either of the two writing styles fountain pen or ballpoint whichever your preference is but i do recommend check it out if you can find the blue one floating around here and there somewhere on ebay or some other website uh, be sure to double check the seller before getting it and uh, even on amazon i had some difficulty finding a seller that would have this in stock they would list it but buy it actually to say not in stock sometimes the delivery would not get missed so it was hard acquiring this particular pen i only like this in blue i did not want the black and silver because that would make it look very similar to the waterman perspective pen i have in silver and black i wanted something different in blue that's why i was trying to chase this and uh, after a bit of you know searching here and there chasing it around i was finally able to find it from a seller on Amazon, got it for around $200. Uh, I would imagine it would cost you the same as well. It might be uh, around 250 even, because if somebody has these, they know that they're short in supply and it's getting harder to find them, they might charge you more. But no, no reason to pay anything above 250 or $200. Go with the black one. I will suggest some different uh, alternative to the pen if you are looking for something like this the waterman perspective is a very good one sd dupont also has a really nice rollerball pen in their d-line so check those out but if you can find this one at a decent price go with it it's very nice uh very well made blue resin with just stainless steel you can't go wrong with it so i do highly recommend this one if you can find it at a decent price if you do buy it from monte grappa's own website you have no option but to go for the uh, black option on this monte grappa has very beautiful craftsmanship and uh, if you check their website you'll see some of their more finer pens that are more expensive are very beautifully crafted and this one's no exception even though this is their entry level pen but uh, just by writing with it just by seeing it in up close in person i can tell you this is a strong contender for the pen market and uh, that's it for the review of this monte grappa parola rollerball pen in navy midnight blue color hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one take care Bye bye